cause I slay, 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 I done with that, that's the whole vibe situation, we're going to take, sorry, I dropped this, our Essence Translucent Fixing Powder, this is really the fixing powder, but there's the one that you use to bake, and that's what we're about to do, I don't know what it's called, but in my next tutorial, I will find it, okay? So I'm going to use um, Lee's double blush and powder thing and the thing magic, the beauty blender, <laughs> light bulb moment. Okay, so this is how it looks in the inside, okay. And what you want to do, you can really use the same one if you want, but I prefer not to. I feel like, yeah. And you're going to do this and apply this in your highlighted areas, okay? So you just watch. Also, don't wipe. Dab. Right, can you see? I look like Casper the Ghost. Not Casper your vest, please. Casper the Ghost. Okay, so you can really see that this is really just gonna help accentuate the happiness of your face. And hence why we put it in the areas that we highlighted, as you can see. And the reason why I do this before I do my eye makeup is because it's time to bake. And baking takes time. You gotta put it in the oven for it to be golden crispy and delicious and yummy looking, okay? So we're gonna put that aside for a while. And then we're gonna get to our good god. Hi makeup. Okay. And then this is like my other favorite eyeshadow brush because it really has like a flexibility, you know, and this didn't come in my soldier package. I bought this at this chem and it's by Barbara Hoffman Professional. Right, so what you want to do is you want to start on the outskirts of your eye, okay? And for that, I'm going to use both these niggers because they're also both popping, okay? So for the outside, I'm going to use these two ladies. This is from the LA Girl Nudes. God. I'm going to use these two for the outside. And I might also use these two. Okay. I'll just really see how I feel. Also, this is really up to you. You know, I'm like, how do you feel and what's the mood? And what you want to do is to just go in circles and then on your crease, the crease of your eye. You just want to give her a pop too. Yeah. Like, hey girl. How you doing? You know? It's really 
really simple. Okay, and then I'm just going to dab a bit of her because, I mean, black currant is purple after all. You know? Hey guys! Ain't that cute? So, you know, like for girls like me, what you want to do is you don't just want to stay within the eye. You just want to just a little bit out there, you know, and be great on flourish. And then you just bring it in. It just makes you that, gives you that whole mysterious look. Right. So next, I'm going to use this eyeshadow brush. These ones don't have numbers. It's fine. And I'm going to use these three. Really, however you wish. Let's start with her. And you're going to go there in the middle of your eye. Hey Mac, shout outs, like, your girls are really popping, do you know what I mean? Mm, that's nice. That's really, really nice. Ain't that cute? Okay. So I'm gonna use a bit of her to give it a pop, because I mean, this is the middle. And this is the most, the highest and most pointiest part of your eye. So you really want to give it a pop. But not too much. Okay. And then because I'm just that girl. I'm going to go into my LA girl. And I'm going to use her. Because she has this Goldilocks metallic situation happening, right? And I'm just really using this as a base. Because as you can see, it's not like they really match. They do, but they need more effort. So because it has like more of a sparkly vibe going on, that's the reason why we're using her. And then you want to go back to them. And I think... We should use her again. And you're just going to tap on top of the sparkles that we just used. And now the important thing is, is to blend. Really, makeup is blending. With your eyeshadow, we've used already, I don't know how many colors. The most important thing is to blend. To make sure there aren't any lines showing in between where you put the different colors. So you're just going to go really on top. Of there just a little bit you see and then you want to go back there because I mean it's losing its shimmer greatness if you want if you're extra like me you can go into the crease or the corners of your eye and just give them some glitter or greatness right that's what's up we popping okay and then finishing touch just go back there Not too much because I mean you don't want to kill the shimmers, you know. 
Now, look at Jamaica being used by God. Ain't God good? He did that. Okay. Okay, but the other eye is shimmering more than the other. So, really, girls, I mean, you want to be not perfect, but almost perfect. There we go. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So, next step. We're going to use our Avon Infinite Ties. Now, the reason why I love this um, specific one is because of the brush, the bristles on the brush. Can you see how volumizy they are? They literally like stretch. Okay, but before that, we obviously want to use this one because it kind of sort of gives it volume. But you can do it in your case. And you want to go in there. We're going to first do our top lashes because... I'll tell you just now. And you just give her some volume. Gosh, these kids. We love them though. What you want to do with your lashes, both up, top and bottom, you want to get them from the roots, sort of wiggle, 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 stretch, wiggle, 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 do, 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 okay, but not too much, obviously, because you're going to put in falsies, but if you don't want to put in falsies and you're, you know, me, before I discovered falsies, you can really just go ahead with this guy. He's so proper. So you stretch them out so that when you put your falsies, there's no difference. It almost looks like it's one thing. Don't you just hate it when like your face beats is proper and then your mascara wand kind of sort of goes... I wish I could die, especially when I've done powder. Such a read. Can you see how popping they are? Okay. So, we're just gonna dust her off, okay? Because we're about to put some mascara on our bottom lashes and you don't want that going you don't want your brush going in there I know I look paley so I mean now I'm a hustler I'll show you how I'm gonna fix this but if you have your own powder one that isn't translucent, like the brown one that goes with your shade. You can just dab it in there and be fantastic and be great. Alright. Make sure you get it out. Everywhere. But because, like I said, I'm a hustler, I'm going to use um, the brown in our LA Girl Spice. Palette. And I'm just gonna boop boop dip it in there and just be great, you know, to eliminate the pale lookingness. Not too much, of course, because I mean, you did work really hard on your highlight and being proper. You see? So now I don't look too. Right. We're going to do the same process that we did to our top lashes, to our bottom lashes. Oh, I forgot. Which is not an important. 
important step though but if you want you can use and you don't have to buy it from Victoria Jackson you can really just buy any white liner the white liner kind of makes your bottom lash pop like majorly so see what I mean <gasps> but I'm just gonna use her And you just re reapply a bit of powder there to get it intact again. How to try and smash. I think I jinxed myself. I mean, I shouldn't have said that. It's really important to take time on your bottom lashes because your top lashes are going to pop more than your bottom lashes. Ooh! But you don't have to do this. Other people prefer to use um, eyeliner for the bottom lashes. I personally do not because I just don't. This is what I'm talking about. So you see how white it is? You can really just get white liner. Um, juke jukes, they have it. You know, just be great. And you're just going to tilt that part or pull it. And just go into the deep parts of your bottom lash. I think it's late for this, but okay. Can you see the difference? Right. So, please pause. Okay. So, we're not done with our eyes, but because I know life, we're going to use these bad boys again. Um, the Ior Exaggerate in number 143. Okay. And you also need tweezers. So, guys. Mine are already used, now. Yeah? So this is part of the tutorial, which should have come later. But because I'm me and I love you guys so much, I'm going to show you. What happens with the lashes is that as you use them, as you apply glue, the glue sort of builds up. So it remains there. What you want to do is just put it out of the tweezers. So easy and fun. I like to do this. Okay. And now your lashes are all clean. You don't want to put any mascara on your lashes because it kind of sort of wears them out, you know, and it makes them look heavy and look like they're cheap and you don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is you're going to hold your lashes like that. And you're going to take your Lash adhesive. Okay. And you really just want to go on in there on the lash line of your falsies. You want to put it on the top. Not on this side, not on this side. On the top. Because when you apply them, they look just so much better when the vibe is from the top. And then you're going to put it down because this adhesive, because it's wet, you kind of sort of need to let it dry a little bit so as to stick with ease on your eyelids.
Okay. Um, experience has taught me that this adhesive is quite thinnish. So you're gonna let it dry, and then we're gonna do that process one more time and just fix it. Okay. So we're gonna go back to this pilot. And what you want to do is take the shimmery part, which is a bit gold, from it because of your skin tone, of course. And you just kind of want to highlight the part, the crease, I think. No, I'm lying. That's not the crease. But yeah, anyways, that part. Just go into it. You know? And just give yourself some greatness. That also kind of sort of highlights your brows and makes them pop even better. And I mean, it's up to you how much of the shadow you want to put on. I'm savage, so you know, I just really go in there with it. Doesn't it pop? Now the reason you want to do this with, you know, the bronzish color is that you just want to make it look like you're glowing. You never want to make it look like, I don't know, you're in five colors. And because I put just a little bit too much, I'm going to go back in with my, um, Powder brush, my blush brush of which I used for foundation. Let's use the MAC one. I'm gonna go in with that. My powder brush. And I'm gonna dust off a little bit of it. Never Linda. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and go attend your lashes again you'll see that the glue starts to dry out it'll become clear that's how you know that it's dried out like i said it has it dries clearly i can so you just give them attention a bit again and after this you're good to go So in order to prepare for them, we're going to use our Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. You can really get the other one that looks like a cokey pen if you really feel you're clumsy. Because this is such a hack. So, you know, we might have to do it twice, but by faith, we'll just do it once. What I'm doing is I'm pushing down my lashes because I was actually supposed to do this before I put the mascara on, but... Like I said, these things happen. Now you're going to start in the middle because that's where it generally becomes thicker and it's safer to start there. I'm, you know, Adele's soul sister, so I like to really be great and savage with my cat eye. So I really go ham with my wing liner. But not like excessively. So now that you've outlined it, you just want to fill it in. Be careful. And then just a little bit from like that part. Because you don't want a lot of it. It's going to smudge. And then you just...
this is really up to your own satisfaction. Isn't it funny how just the line, a black line across your eye makes you feel so much more sexier? <laughs> I know, right? It's so weird. It's always fine, fun during the first one because you really just wing it. Did you see what I did there? Wing it. <laughs> uh, and then the hardest thing about this process is making the one line wing thing look like the other. So the other thing you want to do is really go in there, like really try to be as close to your actual lashes as possible because no falsie sits perfectly. So it's never really going to be immediately on your, excuse me, your lash line. Right, I won't go any further because I'm just going to ruin it. Can you see? Back to our tweezers. Okay. It really doesn't matter, matter which one you start with. I'm going to start with my right. You want to really hold it in the middle because it's so much easier. And what I do all the time is that I push my lashes down so as to allow me greatness. Oh, another thing. Other people have smaller eyes. Yes. So if you want and you just feel like this is too big, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. That lash is way too long. You need to cut it. But what you want to do is cut it on the outside. So they always put right and right and left. So you wanna cut it on the outer part because it's longer. So you just go chup chup chup. And be a lot of greatness. Right. Oh my gosh. So my gla my glue isn't wet. I mean, it's not dry, which sucks. Can you see it's smudging? But anyway, just like what did you like on my leg? It'll have to learn greatness at some stage of my life. So you just want to pat it. Once you've really positioned it properly, put it there. Uh -huh. Cut them lashes. The drastic change is amazing, right?
That's the world. That's the real world. So we're trying to get a kid out of candy store. But eventually you'll get it right. And if you don't and you just have to like strip it off, it's fine. Come down. You can do that. Strip them off. They're gonna feel really uncomfortable, like your eyes are like snatched. But that's the beauty of it. And it won't be forever. It's gonna be for just a few hours. So yeah, you can do this. And you wait to my trick down, my trick down, so to work. By the time you get to work, whatever your place is. Yeah. Woo! I got some glue, I think, in my eye or something. Anyway. Okay. I'm about to tear up, so I'll just take. <sighs> We're gonna edit this of the video. I think we'll see what my creative director said. So minus the tears. I look pretty, don't I? You can too. Okay. So that is that. I'm just gonna remove that part. I remember. Okay. We're almost done, guys. I know I've been here for so long. Okay. So. Hey girl, um, blush collection in spice. We're gonna first use the brown there, and I mean, I use this for foundation, but I can use it again. Yeah, or we'll just use the MAC brush, but you can really get a sort of a um angled foundation brush and not use it for your front foundation and we're gonna go in there and accentuate our contour again Can you see there's a difference already? So cute. Okay, next we're going to take the same brush we use for our foundation and we're going to pretty much dab in both depending on your skin tone. You know, um, you can choose whichever one you want to because I'm a bit lightish. I'm caramel. I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna dab in both so that I don't look too much like a porcelain doll. And what I like to do is I like to go in circles and up, circle and up in my whole cheek, around my whole cheek. Okay. brush ever we're going to use the fan brush and we're gonna dip it in there also I'm going to use I like to use my uh, my bronzer because it has a goldish effect than it does than this does this one sort of has like a pearly effect and if I can show you on a swatch you know it has much more of a pearly effect than this does so I'm going to use both of them to have greatness. Now what you want to do with this is you want to go on the highest, most peakiest part of your cheek and just really go in there and be great. Ooh. Hey. 
this really just depends. I'm really the glow girl. I love to glow. You know, so I really go ahead with it. And then, you want to go ahead and highlight your mouth. She's about to be pricked with your lipstick. And it's just so cute. And then, the tip of your nose is quite important. Because really, that's where the sun hits. Can you see it? Oh, I love it. And what you want to do, get some um, highlighter on your brush and you're going to go like in a line like that. Accentuating the initial highlight that you created. Like I said, you can really do it multiple times if you want. Or just once. It's really up to you. I'm just really that savage girl. Ooh. I'm gonna get rid of more in there. Because I'm savage, like I said. Uh huh. And then I'm gonna take our MAC brush to just remove that part. Because it just looks like we have a weird line going on there. And if you're really feeling great, like you're really feeling amazing, you can use your bronzer all over your face if you want. And by your neck to just give yourself that shimmer. This is really not required for every day. But it is spring after rolls. So you do want to pop when you get to the sun. You know, so just to eliminate that line. Doesn't that look hot? I really feel like a goddess right about now. And um, if you want, you know, you can just really go over that brown again. And just go on the outskirts outskirts of your face to just give yourself like a warm tone I prefer not to but I'm gonna do it because it looks cute sometimes if you don't overdo it and that's your face now we're gonna complete the look with our look current okay so I usually use a like a dark burgundy purplish lip liner, but I've run out of stock. It's fine. Next tutorial. So I'm gonna use my brow liner. Try not to lick your lips. It's a habit. Sorry. And you're gonna go on the outskirts of your lip and the outlines. Not too much. You don't want to keep it like this. It's not the 90s. We're not Boom Shaka. We're not Brenda Fussy. So what you want to do is sort of like blend it in. You see? Okay. Then we're going to take our heroin. Um my lipstick and go on the outside of it you don't want to go uh, like when we used to apply lip gloss this is lipstick so you kind of sort of dab with your lips like ma 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 can you see So you can see how we didn't really go much in the 
middle or the inside of the lip. However, you can see the darkness shading into the lightness from the liner into the lipstick. And then we're going to take our cover stick. I've used it already. And we're going to apply that in the inmost part of your lip. Dab with your lips. You kind of want to do that until it blends. Okay. If you're feeling fancy and you want to go back in there with your lipstick, you can do that. So what you don't want to do is that you don't want to leave the concealer, you don't want to show the lines, so you just really want to blend it. There must be the illusion, yeah, where it's from dark, a bit darker, no, no, darkest, dark and light, <laughs> you know, can you see that? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our look. This is our black current ombre look lip, sorry, and this is our black current something vibe look. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for um, watching my tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please do like my video. Please do subscribe and comment below. Most importantly, please share with your friends. I mean, let us all slay, let us all flourish, let us all fleek. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Lady Lelo, the Lady Lelo that is like my YouTube thingy. And you can also find me on Snapchat at Lady Lelo as well. Same Lady Lelo, really. I really don't like Twitter, but if you want me to, I'll get it. You know, and then you can also find me on Facebook, um, uh, Numpumelelo. Lady Lelo Zulu, that is my Facebook handle. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love you, love you, love you. Please, don't be selfish. Tell your friends to tell their friends so we can all be friends, okay? Last and not least, slay, flick, flourish. I'm lying. Last and not least, do what you love and slay at it.